the mayor, the elected mayor of this holy city, the city of Bethlehem. It's the city where our Lord Jesus Christ was born. We are in this holy month. We in Bethlehem celebrate Christmas. We've already started our celebrations, decorating the streets of Bethlehem to receive this special day on the 25th of December 2010. Apart from the decorating the streets of Bethlehem, we've decorated the uh, Christmas tree in the major square. And yesterday, the representative of our president, uh, Mahmoud Abbas, the uh, engineer Ziad Bandak, lighted this Christmas tree. Really, the occupation is still here. The wall is surrounding the city of Bethlehem. And this has a very bad effect on the city of Bethlehem, on our daily lives. Uh, in every aspect of our daily lives, whether it's on the economy, whether it's on uh, practicing your religious prayers in Jerusalem, you cannot go to Jerusalem, either Christians or Muslims, unless you get a special uh, permit from the Israeli authorities, which is rarely given to anyone. Our agricultural land has been confiscated to build 22 settlements around the city of Bethlehem with 87,000 settlers and to build this wall of separation that sneaks into the city of Bethlehem and which has closed the main historical northern entrance of Bethlehem city. Bethlehem used to be 31 square kilometers, now Bethlehem is 5.7 square kilometers. We have one of the highest density of population in the Persian National Authority. It's 4,650 persons per square kilometer. This, the effect of this wall and the occupation is still affecting, as I said, our daily life. But even with that, we insist on celebrating Christmas in Bethlehem. We count this as a stand of solidarity on our land and around our holy places. We celebrate Christmas, both Christians and Muslims, that all Palestinian people and citizens, whether Christian or Muslims, we stand as one body on this land. We, and we ask for our right to self-determination, our right to have our own viable Palestinian state, though on part now of our historical Palestinian land, which is on 1967 borders, we would have preferred a one-state solution for all three religions, Muslims, Christians, and Jews. But unfortunately, Israel does not want this, giving us only 22% of our historical land. And as you know, this rightist government, Mr. Netanyahu, and his uh, fascist foreign minister, Mr. Lieberman, they want to send even all Arabs living in what they call Israel now, out of Israel. This is our land, and we are staying put on this land, and nobody can deny this, neither Israel uh, nor anybody else. All this has affected our unemployment rate. Unemployment used to be really about three or four years ago, about 28.5 percent. But due to the increase of pilgrimage to the city of Bethlehem, especially this year, there was a big increase. We had about 1,450,000 pilgrims getting into Bethlehem. All our hotels are full. And thanks to this, the, this unemployment rate went down to about 16 to 18%. These persons coming into the city, is, they are actually breaking down these walls of separation. That's why we, we insist on celebrating Christmas. And we try every year to do it better than the year before. This is in defying the occupation and this war.